What's up, Digi Dusted? <laughs> Hello, welcome. Uh, here for the Edamon deck profile. It was requested by a saint, so here it goes. As for eggs, we run four Pogmon. Pogmon's just like your general, really good, like black, um, black deck egg. Um, on deletion, you check the top card for a black Digimon. If it's a Digimon, you add it to your hand, otherwise it goes to the bottom. So in most cases, especially for this deck, besides maybe a select cards, you're going to be plussing and it'll get added to your hand. So it's really good for, for draw in a way, and you generally want your units to die anyway, because there, there's so many on deletion effects. <laughs> we run two, Omnimon Zort. Omnimon Zort is more so a game and a game it's a game finisher so when you did evolve you trash the top four and then you summon two um seven costs from your drop zone and play them this helps specifically with this deck because of the seven cost uh king uh king edamon in the deck which on has an on play and win digivolution for the same effect and then when you're swinging with your on attack ability um shoving your either Metal Edamon or the um, Venusmon back into your deck helps um, clear with board. So it's really nice. The man of the hour, the show, the boy himself. Metal Edamon. Unfortunately, I don't have a fourth hollow because price. Anyways, 11 play cost, 11k attack, Metal Edamon on play when Digivolution. Uh, reveal the top four cards, call up to the cost of seven and trash the rest, as long as it has Chumon, Sukumon, or Edamon in their name. So he is one of your turbo engines to just like filling up the board, filling up your trash as well. You wanna digivolve into this guy as fast as possible so that you can start pressuring your opponent by board flowing the board with a bunch of poops and monkeys. It also helps with um, activating your King Sukumon's ability since it's on play, so you can start poopifying multiple target, uh, multiple different targets. We run two Venusmon. Venusmon is more of a meta counter, considering that there are Digimon that get extra security attack on on top of them. So being able to reduce that or to stall out for that extra turn because a lot of decks in this meta are really fast right now. So it helps out a ton. And I'm only running just her at two because she's, like I said, she's more of a tech card. Um, draw, drawing into her too early is a bit bad for your curve and what your ultimate goal is considering most of the, the deck is a black base, but it does share the yellow trait, but um, most of your units that you're digivolving from are black. And, and to get into Zwart as well. Zwart can only digivolve from a black Digimon. Next up, we have King Sukumon. The heart and soul of the deck. The reason why the deck is a goofy goober in the first place. So on play or Digi Evolution, if your opponent has 16 or more cards in their trash, which is a throwback to Digimon World, or if you have three Sukumon in your trash, or three or more Sukumon in your trash, you can turn one of your opponent's units into a white 3k DP Sukumon that cannot Digivolve. This is good because it goes past a lot of the protection that's in the game, such as can't be deleted, can't be deeper reduced, can't be de-digivolved. This goes completely over it. It's really good. And then their um, passive effect is that when they're attacking, if you have, or for each, Sukum, each other Sukumon on the board, including your opponents, you get once uh, security attack plus one. Therefore, say you just poopified your opponent's uh, unit, correct? Now you're sitting at two crit and you're swinging for two crit. Um, usually what you're, because of the other Sukumons in the deck, they, have, they all share the same exact inheritable ability to where if they were to get deleted, you get to dis delete a different Sukumon instead. This plays very well into what the deck's strategy is because say you run into a security bomb, right? Your opponent has a Sukumon that you transformed it into and then you have yours. Say you run into a 7k or literally 7k or higher. It's pretty, 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 pretty uh, common. You bomb it, right? Instead of your Sukumon being deleted, you can delete their Sukumon instead because it's technically a Sukumon on the board. 
So keeping yours alive and getting rid of their big stack, whether it's BWGX, Bilzamon, it doesn't matter because they're a poop now. And poop does not have privileges. Rerun two, black, yellow, Edamon. We only run two of this guy because of his on play and when Digi Evolution is, it's, it's okay. But the level five that you mainly want to get into is King Sukumon himself. However, him uh, having the ability to clear something quickly on the board or to stall out your opponent's turn because of his Wind Digivolution or on play, you get the Trash of Sukumon, which also helps you feel your engine, to give minus 3k and minus one security check to a uh, Digimon of your choice. So it pops rookies, it can slow BWGX or um, Bilzamon, Hunters, etc. down if they don't if they have less crit. It's, it's, they're just swinging for DP at that point. Same inherited um, when you get deleted, try, um, delete a different Sukumon instead. The deck heavily works around that. Now I run three BT3 Edamon. I run three BT3 Edamon because of its on deletion. This card is crazy, it's nuts, and it helps you get, it, it actually helps you turbo a ton fast. So as on deletion is when you on delete it, when you reveal five cards from the top of your deck, you get to play one level six Digimon with specifically Edamon in his name. Guess what Edamon is a, a level six with Edamon's name? Bam, Metal Edamon. So he dies, he also has blockers, so you can force it. He dies. You get him, his uh, ability is also on play. So now, because they killed your blocker, you summon him, and now you have another board to swing with. So your your game plan is no longer slowed down. In fact, it's accelerated, and it's a lot easier to get even like more pressure going, especially once you start board flooding with this deck. It, it's really hard to it's really hard to come back from against it at least. We have. Four of BT11 Black Yellow Sukumon. <laughs> You're running him. He's the Sukumon name, of course. Um, his on deletion is really good. It also helps you um, fill your trash up, and he also adds <clears throat> two Mon Sukumons or Edamons to your hand uh, on deletion after you build the top three. So they're searchers on top of resource, right? Which is really good. Um, no less than four. It's like a very necessary card. Um, inheritable ability, same exact. If something dies, kill off a different Sukumon. Pretty standard. Here's a huge one. BT3 Sukumon. This one is slightly different and a little better than the new Sukumon in my opinion. Because for this one, at least, when it gets deleted and you check the top three, you get to call a Chumon out to the board rather than just add it to your hand and trash the rest. You get to add Chumon, you get to summon Chumon to the board and then the rest of the cards get shuffled back to the bottom of the deck. Because there are times where this deck knows so much that you end up just trashing all your cards. So having some sort, some version of cycle really helps the deck out a lot. Um, Three probably cost 1k DP level four. It's pretty standard. If you need to just straight up call out at level four, that's what this deck is really um, good at. Speaking of which, we have two BT2 Numemon. This is also a level four, three, uh, three play cost, 3k DP, um, and it level evolves from a level three for one. So this card is pretty big because it's it's a cheap level four to call out. It doesn't have any abilities or standards, but the fact that it's it's a target for trashing with um, another card we'll get too soon. Um, it did you evolve for one, so it helps you choke your opponent, um, chokes your memory, chokes your opponent, and it's just a solid it's just a solid unit. I wouldn't more run more than three, but minimum two, because there's gonna be moments where you need to get your shit going. And because of how much um, deletion and board clear is in this game right now, it's it's gonna be really hard to like rebuild a stack. So being able to just like throw down Numimon and then go into your level five, which is either King Sukumon or Enemon, is just really good. Next up, we have a bit of a draw engine. We have three BT11 Garamon, the card I mentioned because it has the ability to on play, trash a Numemon, Edamon, or Sukumon from your hand and draw two. 
So this is pretty big. It also helps you fill your trash so you get to your game plan faster. Um, as it says, Numemon is also a target. It counts itself as a Numemon too. But just in case you need the extra draw, you can also trash this as well. And literally any other Sukumon or Edamon in name. Um, because getting to your getting to your king or sorry not king uh, metal animon getting to your metal animon and your king sukumon as fast as possible is what you want to do with this deck because the faster you get to poopifying the faster your opponent can't play the game and if they can't play the game then you're the one having fun right and that's what matters we want to have fun not them <laughs> we have four dorumon dorumon we just got um from bt11 We've been starved of this card since it was released for them. I don't even know when it was released for them. That's how bad it is. But have, um, it has a security ability where at the end of its battle, you check the top card. If it's a level four or less, you play it on the field. Guess what this deck is mostly of? Level fours. So you can play your Jeremon for free. You can play your Numemon for free. You can play your Sukumon for free. The other Sukumon, like you can play most of your deck for free out of security off the top of your deck and then um especially if it's numemon that's just on play trigger draw two by ditching one it's just really good this also gets added back to your hand so in case you need to digi evolve from it you have a free digi evolution right there very solid card then we have four of the bt11 black yellow chumon this card is good because it's of its um, inheritable ability, letting you go into a Sukumon for the cost of minus one memory, which is pretty huge because the normal Sukumon cost is two. So going into this will be one. So it's like a pseudo, it's it's really helpful for choking your opponent's, opponent's memory as well. And um, this is also callable off of Sukumon, um, BT2 Sukumon. So, it dies on deletion, call that out. This also has a really good on deletion where if this Digimon had any of the, um, <clears throat> if it has Sukumon, Edamon in its name, you get to call a Chumon from your trash um, as rested to the field without paying its memory cost. So it's like, it's like a mountain, right? This deck is like a mountain. The, you start building it up, and then once it gets knocked down, you start getting value out of it. You start getting your units out, you start getting your board prepped for the next turn. It's just really good. Another Chumon from BT3. Me too, Onyx. I'm hungry. Actually, no, I just ate. Uh-huh. So this is BT3 Chumon. Just your typical um, floodgate unit. It's really good. Can only get memory from tamers, considering there's a lot of units that just like, like, like Belzimon, for example, that deck gets so much memory, just slamming this down on the board and they're, they're gonna have an aneurysm and they're gonna wanna kill this as fast as possible, which is also, of course, searchable off of Sukumon and playable by Sukumon, so. Oh, and also Chumon's ability, since it's on deletion, you just play a Chumon, not specifically this one. So you get to pull, like, this gets destroyed, you play this, boom. They're sitting at a situation where they can only gain memory from tamers. Now they have to divert their attention and pressure to this little rat thing in order to continue playing the game. We run one Izzy Izumi. We only run run Izzy because getting multiple doesn't feel that well, and we don't run it at two because we run other tamers. Um, just your classic memory setter um, on play, check the top three. If they're all black, you get a memory. So effectively, he is literally only a three cost tamer in this deck for memory setting, which is really good. It also secures your stack. So it helps you set up for your um, Edamon on deletion. It helps you set up for your Sukumon on deletion. It's just really good. It's probably the best, one of the, like the second best tamer for this deck, next to the one I'm gonna get to. Um, yeah, stacking makes the deck a lot better. We run BT9, Maki Himekawa. This card is really good in this deck. I'm only running it at two. I feel like three or four is too much because there's been many times where all I'm actually drawing into are Makis and uh, having at least two is fair enough. On play, search the top three for a dual colored black. 
which is most, if not all of the deck. And it just helps search for your specific pieces that you need to get done. Um, it also has the ability that when you are digivolving to a dual color black, you tap Maki, you might negative by one. So in some cases, if you have your um, you have your Chumon and you're trying to go into one of your Sukumon, you tap this Maki, free, free digi evolution. So now you get to extend your plays and do more things out of that. So Maki is really good for the deck. Next, we run two Cooties Kick. Disgusting. We run this because it is a one cost kamikaze card. And I say that because what if say like most of your units have 1k attack, maybe 3k if you're lucky. So it's going to die. What this does, it, it, it dopes your Sukumon, Name, Numemon, or Edamon and gives it the ability that on deletion get three memory. So for the cost of one, you're getting three many. That's a net two memory positive stonks. And then as a security, you reveal the top three and then you get to play a Digimon with the cost of three or less, which is again, all of your deck. Your entire deck is three costs besides the level fives and sixes and Nami one Zort. But having the majority of your deck be under the threshold of this getting called out is really strong. And then you trash the rest further um, feeling your game plan. As the second card, we are running Prime Memory Boost. It's Prime Memory Boost. It's a really good card. Um, check top three, call a, um, play a level of four cost or less and trash the rest. Again, really, really nutty with the, with the deck. Helps you fill your trash. It lets you play a, a um, level four for free. And all the level fours in the deck help just like turbo you into going to Metal Animon, which is just really strong. And then of course, delayed um, gain two memory. That's the final little goofy card I run in this deck. Ultimate Flare. This card is not dying because it's probably one of the strongest black removal uh, removals that black has as a color. Um, main trigger, DDG Evolve three on one of your opponent's units and then delete all three costs or less. So you get rid of a huge Beelzemon stack, you get rid of a War Greymon stack, a Restrigermon, et cetera, et cetera. You just get rid of their entire stack and then pop it. So effectively you might get past inheritable abilities that prevent the solution, but now since you de-digivolved it, it goes past it. So really solid card, only put it at one, you only need one, two is too clunky, because then you'll get a handful of them and you can't do anything. But yeah, that is the Edamon deck. Let us know your deck recipes for it and what kind of tech cards that you would like to run in it. Justin from Nexus Core.